What's up YouTube? Ashton Reeve here. It's been a long time since I made a video. I'm pretty busy, so I'll let you guys uh, see what I've been doing. This is the uh, microbiology I've been brewing. This is dark. Love brewing it nice and dark. That way I don't have to add a lot of it to my rotifers when I'm feeding them. So that's my tip. If you can get your microbiology really dark, do it. I, um, some people say split every five days, four days, once you've cultured your original first few cultures. I'll go seven. You can go more if you want, but I went seven with this bottle. Star. See? And I love this stuff. Love it. It's always better. Don't even have to use a lot. Now these are my rotifers. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see them. Yeah, you can actually. It's see the little tiny flakes. Hard to see. But uh, if you got this on high up, you will be able to see the little tiny rod first float around. Just did a water change on these guys. So that's why it's so green. It's not too green. You don't want to go dark, dark green like this. You just want to have a nice medium green. Um, keep these vessels clean. I have three of these and I swap through all the time. Just keep them clean. You won't crash your rod first. It's the uh, most important thing. Just clean, clean. Clean. Double cultures is always a bonus. Right? One crashes, you've always got another one. And I've got the, uh, <laughs> the tub down here as well for water first. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see them in here. Probably not. But there are water first in here. Anyway, I use these rotifers and feed them to my corals. Um, I feed them to my system, period, every day, all the leftovers. I don't dump it down the drain, I feed it to my system. Um, the corals love it. Um, the rotifers love algae. Um, the rotifers are food for copepods and anapods and all that stuff. So you'll notice a huge jump in all the little tiny critters that'll grow in your system when you start using microalgae and rotifers. Now I am, a, I use, I have a hundred and, uh, it's around 140, 150 gallons of water. It's my system. And I only use a half a tablespoon a day. A day. Some people dose a month, a lot at once. Well, no matter what, if you dose a lot of microalgae at once, you're probably going to see negative effects. This is something that you slowly introduce, and you can, I could go up to a tablespoon a day, or more, just watching the system, but uh, right now I'm at just half of a tablespoon, and that seems to work. Now, Rotifers, on the other hand, I believe that you can dump as many of these bad boys into the system as you want. Every day I dump a lot of water out of these, fill them up. Uh, come tomorrow I will use all the water source. I, I use them all. We're talking trillions, who knows, I don't even know, a ridiculous amount. And I put them in all my systems and they are amazing. So you can't overdo water first, but you can overdo microalgae. Yeah, this is my kitchen. My friend doesn't like this. Oh, just so you guys know, this is a Energizer LED bulb. It's the one that uh, comes with a cover and it's supposed to shoot the light out of the sides. Great bulb. Rip off the cover, as I've done. And that is the nicest, whitest. That's white. That's We're talking, this is perfect. At least 56K or 5,600K. Maybe 6,000k, maybe more, but it's perfect, and they're cheap, and they're LEDs, so you can't go wrong. Anyway, <laughs> hope you guys like this. If you have any questions about microalgae, rotifers, uh, just let me know. We'll definitely answer right away. Uh, Till next time, peace out. Ashton Reef, lay down.